Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty Gears Tactics. It is time for Act 3, Chapter 8 and by reading through the briefing everything is in place for an all or nothing assault, defeat Ukon and destroy his laboratory. It almost looks like this is the last mission. I hope it's not. I sincerely want to level up a bit more but leveling had been slow lately maybe there is a mod that allows you to just level faster i wish we could like get two of those ultimate trees in we are with level six 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 and six and tank the um the heavy is pretty close to level seven we have everybody uh lined up it's certainly the best of the best team that we could bring to action. So. Let's hope Ukon is not too strong. I told you once that we weren't ready for this fight. Said all we had was grit. Well. We got a hell of a lot more than that now. But this won't be easy. Because it's not enough just to kill Ukon. If we let the locusts keep churning out these juiced up grubs, everyone's at risk, not just us. That means we've got to crush Ukon and his whole nasty ass operation. The plan's simple. First, we knock down Ukon's front door. Knock, knock! That'll unleash hell and give us time to make a special delivery. Got you, shithead. While we chase Ukon down, you'll buy us time. Now, let's get this done. No way. What a great action. That looks like an awesome mission. This is what we've been working for. Either Ukon goes down, or we do. Gear up. Time to finish it. Ukon, my man. <laughs> you thought you were clever, did you? Huh? Come see what my newest creation thinks of your little plan. Gods! Disable those pumps! Whatever Ukon's hiding in there, we've gotta cut off its emulsion supply. Okay, then what? Then Ukon unveils his magnum opus. Alright, so we got a couple of disciples over here. What the hell is this guy? Oh, it's a boomer. 3,000 hit points. Well, I think it's clear we need extra action points. Good assist, Jack. And right let's here. start over here. Can do. Um, well, 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 well. Here. Now nah, we're not lock, lock and loading yet. That would be too early. Here goes. But what we can do is we can double explode and make sure that these guys. Regret their life choices. Grenade out. Good. Target neutralized. Yep. 
Very good. So. Uh -huh. Moving up. Uh, we The crit chance is too low. We need the crit aura. Appreciate it, Jack. And how about hitting this guy first? There we go. Nice little critical hit. Reloading. Fantastic. Very good. She, I like that build. It is super strong. Good, moving further up. And we're executing this guy. Should have died beforehand with uh, with the mine that I planted there. But whatever. He dies in two turns. Okay, theoretically we can get... Yep. We can get some extra actions out of him. Oh, we can't get through here. Good, I see. We gotta fight our way through all of that. Not a problem. Gate moves up. I think he's a perfect candidate for that device. Sid moves up. And Jack moves up. Okay, that didn't sound uh, very good. Not loving what I'm hearing up there. Come on, how bad can it be? We fought Ukon Sprumach, Orkers. Exactly. Pretty goddamn bad, Sid. I don't think that. I don't think that I can uh, prevent, uh, kind of, kind of fast enough kill all of that without uh, fighting against uh, the end boss. It sounds like whatever is there will come anyways. Keep it up, scum! You only hasten your fate. Your check moves up. We're picking up one of those nice little boomsticks. Reporting. Right. Sid moves up even further. I have no idea if rushing in is the right idea but the whole mission seems to be built on the premise that you should rush in okay. so i'm just following that logic maybe it's a stupid idea who knows i'm just trying to get those uh, things sorted as fast as possible let's mess them up This is one movement. Right here. And let's grenade them. Tech 
footwork. Watch me go. Good, we're going there. I think we can kill that this above a 35% is low. Admittedly. I missed! Nope, didn't work out. Now then. What? Okay, so first, uh, first things first, we had killed them. Proceeding on foot. Now moving up. Luckily, the boom shot is good enough to get both of them down. And next turn, we can. Pull both of these levers. They're on the mark. Watch the doors. Oh, Contact wow, we're bomb. seeing enemies every single round now. I see, so it was oh, a I'm clever. It was actually a smart idea to let them uh, let the one guy live. Good. Before we're turning that third switch, which we definitely can't do this turn. I have to wonder Keep it up, what son. is going to happen. You only hasten your fate. And I hate to break the immersion here a bit, but I think it's actually a better idea just to let them live for one turn. Right here. Instead of just charging in. The game somewhat implies that you should just rush, 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 but I don't think that that's the right okay. call here. Got your back, soldier. Twenty percent uh, damage bonus. Okay. That takes that care of those through. two guys. On my way. And I can't really place the proximity mine, unfortunately. no idea where the thing might be coming from maybe from down uh, down there Let's go. sounds like a massive enemy if you ask me it really does <laughs> Alright. Pull on reduction nice aura. Yes, please. Yep. And we're just overwatching. Affirmative. Nothing fancy, but next turn we can All pull the way. trigger here. And we have disrupt, so Not your lucky yep. day. he is he's just pushed back. Out. 
There we go. Fantastic. It's almost down. Acknowledged. And could we throw a grenade to just finish him? I think the answer is yes. Before spawning another set of enemies. This guy needs to go. Okay, and if my understanding of game logic is correct we're now going That's to see a massive enemy something like truly big well he looks friendly <laughs> enemies on top of that multiple enemies on top of it okay we're truly talking about the end fight we've got to expose the emotion in that thing's head target the mask my goddamn pleasure here we go this guy has a problem One that we I'm need out. to deal with. Thinning them out. Hey. Okay, so what are we going to do with you two? Hydra will attack in melee, so we might use our melee combatant for that. What is spec here? Just a hammer burst drone? Okay. Well, I tell you what, we're going to tank him. Can't really hit him from up uh, close, but we certainly can hit him. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and a decent hit chance. One thing that we don't have with Jack a sniper aura so that'll take another turn unfortunately we we'll deal with both of these guys easily And a 
essentially interrupt him if he decides to move in. Good. So far, so good. Just so that we're not targetable, we're going to move next turn anyways. And Jack moves up. I'm ready. Okay, we're not lock and loading yet. But I would want to give extra actions over. Don't want to wait for, you. for that crit aura. Standing by. It's only two turns. So how much damage, uh, how much hit points are we talking about? Its missile pods are vulnerable. If you get a shot, take them out. All right. So apparently, those are relatively easy to kill if we crit. If we do not crit, they are not that easy to kill. Yeah, I would want to kill the the missile pods, so we're going to use chain shot here. Nice. That'll keep him grounded for a bit. Good. We continue Good. to Did hammer this guy. Nice little criti uh, critical hit, and we're just going to continue hammering it. Uh -huh. Uh, the distraction unfortunately doesn't work against these guys, but what does work is making sure that we're not being ambushed from uh, from the other side. Unless, of course, the tentacle attacks or whatever are going to hit us. Target's nice interruption, that's good because... He's, this guy is also dealing quite a bit of damage. Yes. Easy. All right, moving up. Got to deal with this guy here. Here comes the frag. Good, fantastic. We are invisible and I'll just move here because I assume more enemies are going to come and I will place mines there. In the meantime, more auras. Nice one, Jack. Yes. Yes, begins to move over. And for reference, we're just going to refresh all of the cooldowns of Mikala. Ready. Fantastic. Ideas? should we move we're actually quite safe here the problem is this one drone but maybe it's even potentially not too bad to have a drone stand there because I don't know how the respawn mechanics are working Let's just uh, get it on away. We want to kill this guy. Gonna need some ammo. I'm out. Oh, vile human pests. Just stay there, dude. 
Just stay there. Out of ammunition, we should reload. I, I scored a kill. Okay, apparently Reloading killing here. a portion does not count as a full kill. Ninety percent crit chance, and we're still failing to deliver. Or this guy just has a lot of hit points. Good. Extraction, snow, coordinated assault, potentially also no. I think we're just going to move a bit closer. That's not bad. I like the chances here. 50%. Yeah, let's kill. I was about to say, let's kill this guy. We still got two Overwatch shots we're left. Over here. So, with our two actions, we're just going to Overwatch. Humanity has been eclipsed. Do you not see what your scientists began at New Hope? I have finished. Goddamn oh, boy. Wow, okay. Have taken care about that much earlier. Yes. Good. We're sprinting up as far as we can. Can't reach both of them, so we need extra actions. Copy. And we could get those Headed out. after everybody gets out of here. Move into exactly here. Then extra actions for both of you. Doing good, Jack. Yes. No need to reload yet. get through here and this one is broken as well i now un begin to understand the map layout a bit better copy yep Seven HP. Ready. Okay, we do have a problem here. Hand over actions over here. Time to up your game. Go ahead. Let's dance. Full contact. 
Good, move into here and we eventually will get the hunker down ability. What's up? Now the question is, can and should we hit this? I think it's the right call. Yes! Took out a missile pod. This here could be Nah, this could not be enough damage. Hmm. Can we somehow get more damage? Put lock and load. I don't think it's the right turn for that. going back into cover but that's a 50% damage bonus which means this here could be a kill but put is not quite it was a miss although the hit chance was quite high really unfortunate let's heal you up That fight is going to be intense, I can already tell. Holy shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here comes a friend. That one felt good. That's a nice little kill right there. Gotta reload. Active reload. Can we target someone or something? 19%. That's not great. Are we still crippled? One more turn. Yeah. Hmm. I'm here. now good we're distracting this guy Great. okay Can we somehow increase the chance to hit him? Potentially not. Let's try it anyways. We don't have much else to lose. We're going to get 20% for missing, thanks to Jack's passive. What's the plan here?
Okay, Jack, we need your full support now. 40% damage reduction. Great job, Jack. Yes, please. We have enough ammunition. Yes, and yes. Yeah. I'm ready. We're good here as well. Yep. Okay. Okay, that could be a three for one. Let's get teamwork going. Got your back, soldier. Yes. Four hundred damage. Can we maybe use the pistol and be more successful? Hundred eighty. That's not going to kill him. Any option to up that? Um. That's a bit more accuracy. We're risking it all because if this guy here runs loose, we're going to be toast anyways. 82% but that's not enough damage so we gotta get that shotgun shot fantastic on my way Diaz moves up and power shot. Very good. Not today, Grub. Very good. Okay. We I need to plant mines here. Because enemies will start spawning every single round. Moving out and in hopefully into a better position. That's too long of a shot. Can't hit it. Here. Yep. Hmm, how do we deal damage to him? He still has both of his weapons again loaded up, unfortunately. Ready. Our sniper. Is not in a position to hit them. Would be great to be over here. But that's not how it's going to work. So that's one. Then this position here is two. And since we're still hidden, okay. might as well move out here. Yes, on the other hand, is I think going to be our frontliner to a degree. Yep. 
here. All right, check. Moves up here. And starts healing, and that even goes through the wall. Good assist, Jack. So at least we are helping. In the meantime, reload. Oh boy, that fight is difficult. I like it. And eventually, if something on spawns, we're going to be on the over uh, on the outlook. Sure thing. Ah, uh, well, technically, they could spawn from here, right? Careful! Big ugly's moving. <laughs> Okay, he's back in the position where we could actually hit him. Eyes on those doors. More contact. Been doing this a long time. Okay. So we got grenadiers in here. Moving up. And that's a kill. Frag out. Look at scum. Placing a mine. Ready. Okay. Now, Jack, I need your help. Support aura, definitely, yes. Thanks for the assist, Jack. Can't kick the ticker into those other two guys. <laughs> but what we can do is what Sid you does the best. Only 60%? Ah, wow, okay. That's not good. <clears throat> I'm here. Drone frag! Your history. There is a good chance that he's just going to kill him. Sid has just single-handedly solved that side. And next turn we can use the hammer burst drone. Problem is Mikaela here is taking quite a bit of damage. Moving up. 50% more damage. Okay, fair enough. Why is her crit chance so low? Thought we had given her sniper aura. Oh no, sniper aura just went off. Well, you can't always have it your way. Here. Time for some extra damage. Got your back, soldier. And do we need to reload is the question is this is almost a hundred percent hit. Hmm, I hate to use that cooldown, but I think it's as good now as any time. We have a couple of our our operatives uh, that did not have a full magazine. And the 50% damage buff is boost is really good. Oh, 
Okay, starting. This here would be critting for 2k. If it crits. There is a crit. Really fast finger that. Oh, please. Oh, 95% short miss. Well, the damage was okay. We got the Hydra actively into trouble. Good. I'll just proactively do that. Nice work, Jack. Uh, that, um, that aura, and we'll plant another, a few more mines over there. More missiles. Clear out. This here is a problem. Good, we're planting another mine right here. What's next? Michaela gets Little more actions again. You. She's essentially going to help us to shoot this guy down. What's up? Oh, and does Jack have his aura? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> One more turn for Sniper Aura. Yep. Don't go dead. Everybody gets Only an extra turn. On route. Moving to here. Overwatching. This area. Here. Could refresh her cooldowns, but Reading you. she still has a couple of cooldowns left over, so let's use yep. those first. We wouldn't be looking for full damage yet. And there's. It's also not helping. Hmm. Now nah, we gotta take a normal shot. Okay, so that is eventually almost down. Second hit. Yes! Took out a missile pod. Very good. Regaining yes! another AP pod. and reloading automatically. Oh no, we're not reloading because that still doesn't count as a kill. Oh, that's frustrating. Guns going dry. Now nah, the ultimate shot wouldn't work yet. Out of ammunition, which means we're just reloading. Uh -huh. Can do. I'm watching. All right. Jack gives himself another aura. Can't really help anyone to reload. And instead it's just going to become Later, invisible. Jack. End of turn. Let's hope no 
not many tickers are coming from here. Well, they are coming. Awaiting orders. Good, move into here. For Jack, that is close enough. Jack needs to turn on the sniper aura. That's Jack. mandatory, but Jack also can support here with hitting. What's next? Standing by. The hell? What's next? Move into here. Moving over. Throwing frag. Can do this all day. And that very much deals with them. In the meantime, we're knocking him back. Okay, back to the Hydra. Spill their thin human blood, my pet! Show them their place! Okay. Well, before we're continuing. Copy. Little boost for you. Bit of a boost. And we are also refreshing the cooldowns. I'm a force of nature here. We don't have lock and load, uh, but we got almost everything else. Good. Maybe sounds strange, but I think this here will actually increase our damage. Plus 50% for run and gun. And now we're up to a 1,600 per, per crit. That's one. That's two. That's three. Can we reload somehow? I'm out. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to reload. It's too bad. Now. He's almost down. To change of scenery. Enough games. Behold the full supremacy of the locust. Not your lucky day. <laughs> Nice. Thanks to the cooldown aura and our back, and our new weapon mod, I can effectively hand over extra actions every single turn. That is so strong. Pod. 
shift here, scrub. Come on. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And thanks to Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks to continuous crits over and over and over. That Hydra finally is down. Stay alert. Don't trust anything until you see Ukon dead. This club will not take a damn hint. <laughs> wow. He landed on Jack. Pop away. Got a whole box of these. Cytostatic gas. A drug of torturers. <coughs> You're all out of moves. New hope never left you. Did it sin? I missed you too, asshole. You think you've won. But your suffering is only beginning. Humanity is weak, soft. My creatures, my perfect creations, will outlive you all! They'll outlive your ass. That's for sure. That's that, then. So what's next, mustache man? You headed off to spill some cog dirt? Been thinking on that. Maybe some secrets are better left buried. I say we leave Prescott to his world. And get busy building our own. Oh, hundred damage. Wow. So I'm wondering, is that the end, or why would you get the supreme, uh, supreme? modification i'm seeing all all xbox um, achievements popping up save your off Asker, complete all campaigns on insane difficulty not much of an achievement player but yeah apparently right off into the sunset then not quite ukon's monsters are still out there I've got some new mission plans we can go over tonight. See, Reyna, this is how fascists celebrate. Planning shit. Something of yours? My mother's. I never knew her. Thank you. Can we burn this place down already? It's almost my nap time. Coming? What a nice storyline.
The game was really, really good. I appreciated the entire storyline. It was well written and directed. Not sure about the replayability of the game, but it certainly was great. So I had a couple of thoughts, uh, just in case it was the last mission uh, around the game. So my impression of uh, the game in general was from a tactical standpoint, it was a nice and refreshing uh, take on a strategic game. Clearly it had been XCOM 2 or XCOM 1 inspired. The three action units eventually make it even a bit more yeah, action oriented because you, you can take shots, multiple uh, multiples of them, and you're not as limited as with the XCOM uh, move and shoot. And just in very rare circumstances, extra ability type of framework. On the other hand, um, that also kind of opens a couple of problems, um, i.e. enemies just having too many actions. And whenever you're running out of actions, it's it's very difficult to, um, to catch up. So whenever the momentum um, plays against you, specifically in those missions where you need to run, it uh, the recovery mechanic seems a bit difficult just from a balancing perspective uh, as the next topic it seems that some of the items uh, appear a bit overtuned from my perspective and a couple of the other items seem a bit undertuned and maybe that is just the difficulty level of insane that uh, this run was played on but i have little understanding why your standard frag grenade deals like 600 points of damage which one shots every single uh, starting character and your healing grenade is like what a hundred uh, so you need to wait through the cooldown multiple times um, and another example being it it feels like overwatch and the mechanic of disrupt is incredibly strong almost borderline broken because when the enemies are trying to get into position you're just overwatching and a heavy can keep multiple enemies. We had that one mission where an, uh, the heavy had kept like four or five enemies from various locations at bay, um, just due to the ability. Other um, other things, just like scouting or moving ahead or having a shotgun, do not seem really strong enough. Maybe it was the type of build that I was uh, playing. Maybe I needed to play more of an assassin build. But um, yeah, those kind of those uh, kind of items, uh, the shotgun in particular, was rather underwhelming. In terms of builds, I don't have a fully vested opinion. We've seen with most of the classes like three out of the four trees. Specialist, I think by far from what I've seen, the action economy manipulation specifically uh, at the end with the epic gear where you can get it down with expertise to uh, one round, so every round. Um, giving someone else uh, two extra um, ability uh, or action points. This seems crazily strong. If you have two um, specialists, you might even need uh, be able to refresh uh, each other's cooldowns. So uh, that in itself seems like a very, very strong combination. Maybe two specialists and two DPS is the strongest combination. Um, in terms of sniper, uh, similar viewpoint uh, there it seems I've, I've tried all four in in this case it seems like the top right hand uh, side uh, with the action economy is by far the best uh, the uh, distracting shot on the bottom right seemed uh, awkwardly underpowered the um, accurate shot is nice but not really needed because uh, the sniper anyways outranges most of uh, the enemies so only in very few instances I felt that the that that uh, accurate shot was really helpful, and the whole uh, top left hand side I think it was called marksman that was quite decent uh, with uh, with the crit uh, fishing and then con continuation of sequences that was okay, um, but still not as good as the top right hand side. In, in my perspective, there's also a clear winner from what I've seen so far. Heavies. In this uh, undecided, I think that the ultimate shot, uh, specifically with eight shots in the magazine, could make for a really, really, really strong heavy. The whole heat mechanic seems good. I was happy with how that played out. I think a heavy on level seven 
would uh, be fantastic because you can ultimate shot and have the overwatch mechanic at the same time which would be an uh, incredibly strong build the top sides on the other hand explosive shot good at the beginning but i felt uh, as the wretches were becoming less and less of a problem it really wasn't uh, that much of a big deal uh, and the top left hand side uh, with the heavy um, if I recall correctly, that, that was uh, the whole topic about, um, oh yeah, taking multiple shots. Uh, we haven't seen that, so I, I don't want to make, uh, to, to, have a, to have a too strong opinion about it. I will uh, rest my judgment on that so far. Um, then the scout, I think the whole uh, explosion tree is incredibly busted. Everything around planting a mine throwing um, another explosion and then every five uh, turns putting a proximity mine out sprinting being invisible for two turns and then essentially doing it all over again and it's it's just crazy the only thing that could have been just a bit better is when you're level seven that you get even more restealthing mechanics but other than that the whole um, grenades seem overtuned uh, we had 700 damage grenades at the end um, and i wasn't even feeding any um, action points into it it made a lot of the smaller enemies uh, a bit trivial because you could just uh, grenade every single turn and uh, that i don't know if, if that was um, that was intended bottom left hand side the uh, ambush one i think is good i've played it uh, that once um, and it looked uh, fine top left hand side can't speak about it top right hand side which i think was the scouting uh, one I was not buying into that. The whole anticipation shtick, nice. Uh, the obscure skate, uh, also uh, nice so that you can save a character. But um, yeah, that was way too support um, heavy for uh, for a scout. I don't think that that is really a, um, a viable build. Not alone, at least. And then uh, finally the Vanguard. My original idea was to build a paladin. I think the idea was nice. Um, it was well meant, uh, but I didn't know the mechanics back in those uh, days. Badass, by far for legendary, the best ability, uh, full stop. Um, because uh, a couple of the bosses or a couple of those one shots um, were simply avoided with that. Together with damage uh, damage reduction and, and uh, actual hit points, so hardening and hit points, just an incredibly strong build. Uh, the other build that I liked was the Shock Trooper one, so that was top right hand side. Um, the Intimidate I think has potential if played correctly, but you need an insane difficulty badass in order to even make that work. So again, a bit the problem that you need sort of level 7 to really make a hybrid build work. Um, the Paladin one on the bottom left hand side I think is not uh, worth it. The healing is too weak and that stand together uh, or stand united with 50% damage reduction that definitely goes in the right direction but the cooldown needs to be like something like three rounds um, and much wider than just uh, eight uh, fields then it would make sense. I don't know the bottom right hand side so I can't talk about that yet um, but the other three uh, have a clear uh, ranking and with regards to jack i think he's a fun uh, character the auras were definitely strong my personal favorite action economy sniper aura and uh, potentially the vision uh, breaking that was quite good also the um, damage reduction aura the other two trees haven't tried it yet. Maybe that mind control tree is good. Um, the summoning of the special weapons, I can see that that is a nice little gimmick. But since you can find them in the normal visions as uh, well, might not be that good. So those are all of the thoughts of uh, the builds, the items, the balancing. What would I rate the game? I think it's a really, really solid title. Potentially a fantastic, uh, a fantastic game. Not sure about the replayability, but uh, it was definitely fun while it lasted. You've completed year's tactics, complete veteran si uh, side missions to find the best equipment and unlock veteran missions. Is that a thing? Like when we're... 
Oh, and I am giving you guys a rundown of um, what I think is strong or not, and already uh, start to uh, to to talk about uh, the end game. But in reality, there are a couple of veteran missions. Well, wouldn't be psychic if we wouldn't be playing for veteran missions, would it? Okay, well, you now heard the official end of uh, the game. Good, if you liked it, slam that like button and uh, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more Gears Tactics, now is the time to say that. I have no idea if the game is moddable, by the way. Um, I will give it a couple of bonus missions because I'm interested in that supreme loot. The one thing that we have gotten was this year and... It has hot swap in there. Hot swap does. When this unit gets uh, uses the reload ability, its next shot gets plus fifty percent damage. Okay. Um, I mean, look, disrupt good. Uh, yep, absolutely. But a hundred damage, that is something. Um, We could go into Flatliner and then start building him more into a tank, but that 40 damage to ammunition isn't bad either. I like the 100% uh, crit chance, though. We'll stick with Anticipation because that's 10% damage reduction and I'll just keep that. Extra 100% crit damage would be nice together with a uh, flatliner. But I think we'll just leave it as is. 390 is good. We unfortunately did not, although defeating Ukon should have given every single one of our soldiers a big fat level up, wouldn't you think? But apparently that's not the case. Yeah, but we still got Quincy here. In terms of recruiting troops, we can recruit level 6 troops. Well, that's fine. In terms of missions, what else do we have? Uh, you, wow. We do have missions with legendary mods as optionals. Enemies gain 40% evasion, so makes them really hard to kill them. Locust immune to disabling shot. Oh, and these are side missions, I see. So we can't take everything, uh, everybody on all of them. One unit maximum. Well, I can tell you that this is going to be Rhea's mission. Uh, explosives are limited supply. Du -du 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 -dum. Blow up uh, enemy. Okay, well, I think we're going. Uh, we're having three nice missions at our hands, specifically since there are legendary armor and weapon mods and supreme mods in here. Uh, apparently, you can have twenty supreme loot. No clue if there are only twenty items, but we're going to find out uh, what the veteran mode is about, guys. But that happens in the next few bonus episodes. Thank you so much for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye-bye.